<laughs> Key to the show's success were the individual looks carefully created for each character, starting with hair and makeup. Tracy's look. These women probably spend less on clothes than I do on a luxury, like makeup. I'm a Jewish woman from North London. Um, so of course I had a favourite character. The office have taken on the most gorgeous holiday relief. <laughs> I had to invite him in for half an hour to warm himself up. Poor boy was frozen. <laughs> Do the world of good. Even if it is only economy class, whatever that is. <laughs> it was series producer Esther Charkham who had the vision for Dorian's vampish look. Esther them and we look at what they wear and how they speak and we came away and we went straight to at that stage the only nail parlor in london and i said to them give leslie lovely red nails of course over the weeks they got longer and longer and redder and redder and more and more claw like i don't know how she ever did anything with them and she could the head of comedy called me in and screamed at me over it and said you can't do this this is not situation just as crucial to the show's success were the girls' individual and very different personalities. Screamed at me over it and said, you can't do this, this is not situation comedy. And I said, well, in that case, I'll go and see the controller of BBC One. And I went to see the controller of BBC One who said, I hired you because you promised you'd deliver a show about real people and you carry on and do that. It took it to a completely different level. And I was so proud of it and so proud of Morris and Lawrence for writing it and so proud of the girls and the way they dealt with it as well, really. Make, I get quite emotional still when I think about it. Oh, Daph, what a shame I'm seeing Kevin Costner. But I could squeeze you between Clint Eastwood and Gary. Because they wanted to do their own birds of a feather. They'd seen this show and thought, this could play great.